More people attended the Service Heritage Festival on Sunday than all of last year's days, combined. In fact, Sunday's attendance shattered the all-time record for single-day attendance. In a news release, festival officials said an estimated 370,000 people went to Harelic Park yesterday. We are absolutely delighted to announce that we broke our one-day attendance record for the festival, Executive Director Jim Gibbon said. Approximately 300,000 attended Heritage last year. The previous record was set in 2013 after 384,000 attended the three-day festival. Officials also said more than 348,000 made their way to Harelic Park through the Edmonton Transit Systems Park and Ride. Many Edmontonians took to social media to complain to ETS and the festival about how long it took them to get down to Harelic Park Sunday. At Ed Meritage Fest let people know to expect over a one-hour wait on Groat Road if you're taking the bus, Yeg Traffic, Yeg Meritage Fest, HTTPS, VFVT, Melody at Things Mulsays, August 7, 2017, Nothing safe about cramming 50 people on a bus with no AC, 25 degree heat, not moving for an hour now, Doikal 911, Yeg Meritage Fest, Yeg Traffic, Brendan Wilson at Willie 707, August 7, 2017, it's taken 50 minutes to get from Health Sciences to Groat Road. Not even down the hill yet. Figure it out Heritage Days Yeg Traffic, Brendan Wilson at Willie 707 August 6, 2017 Poorly planned by ETS. Over an hour and still not in park even Yeg Meritage Fest Travel, Ken Lister at Ken Lister 1 August 7, 2017 You need a backup plan to let people out of the Grote buses or you will have problems. People getting angry, Michael Lohner at Michael Lohner August 7, 2017 Yeah it was horrible. Kids were so miserable by the time we got there. Left half an hour later, Michelle Wilcott at Michelle of 8 August 7, 2017 Gibbon said the delays were caused by the massive attendance something they were not expecting. Nobody was prepared for those numbers, he said. It's something we'll have to talk to ETS about to try to figure out solutions for that in the future. On Monday at 1242 p.m., Edmonton's food bank said they had reached 60% of their food goal. Their goal is to raise 50,000 kilograms before August 11. The number of people turning to the food bank is staggering, Edmonton's Food Bank Executive Director Marjorie Bench said. The Service Heritage Festival is our single largest food drive in Kia restocking our shelves. People may support our work at the festival or throughout this week by dropping off non-perishable food donations at any major grocery store or fire station. To donate online, click here.